Sunday night, we navigated 65 miles from Isla Plaza Sur to Isla Genovesa and then climbed Prince Philip Steps. We saw frigate birds, red-foot booby birds, blue-foot booby birds, red-beaked tropic birds, the short-eared owl, heard songs of many birds and smelled the fragrant sap of the incense tree. On our way to Genovese, heading north, we crossed the equator, and I captured the screenshots on my phone of the compass and the owl temperature showing zero, zero, zero latitude. Then again, the next night, we crossed back over the equator. Reporting Monday morning from Isla Genovese, we got here about 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, Johan tells us there's actually stairs somewhere that we'll be taking the dinghies to. And we climb up the stairs. Once we're up the stairs, uh, it'll be a wet land, by the way. Uh, then we're on top, and it's just totally flat but on top. Once you get past these sheer rocks, a whale of a whale backbone. I'll do a little hiking. A little snorkeling. There's the Armada out there. These are the eager, eager hiker tribe for snorkelers. Uh, time to hunt, hunt, hunt at night. But during the day, they can be like uh, taking care of the babies or making stuff that is like making prison season. A part of the turtle, mm -hmm. the shell. And Here we can sea lion bones. Turtle, turtle bones. Simone Yard. Oh, there we go. Face shot. Cool. Very cool. And here we have the red foot booby. At least some of them. Let me zoom in. Oh, he's so cool. Bird walk. Galapagos bird walk. How does that tune go, Tennessee bird walk? I don't remember. Johan, what is this bird with the blue bee? This is a red blue bee. Oh, it's a red blue Red blue This is an other one. The other one that we saw that are the chicks and the juveniles. The other one. So you you will see that in the case of the red blue bee, they have two colors. That is like as the human, our skin that happened with with them. They have brown feathers and white. It's a variation of colors. So here we can see like this a kind we got a kind of mix between both between the brown and the white. You can see the white white feathers in the back, mm -hmm. but it's brown in the, and the wings. But we will see some that will be totally totally white, and other ones like totally totally brown. So two barriers. How fast do they get to water? That's, I don't know how fast it is, but I know that they can be from 100 meter of altitude and then just go up right. like a project like a second yeah hello little fella buenos dias buenos dias are you camera shy are you gonna let me get a little bit close no. okay good morning hello booby booby you gonna bury your face i can't see you that's a cool little noise like you're hitting like a hollow tube. Yeah. That one right there. Everywhere we looked here, the trees are loaded with nests. Wow, look out here. This is bird paradise. Johan, is this one an old one? This one is a juvenile one. So oh, it's a juvenile? Yes. Did we see a totally black uh, frigate, black head, black body, oh. and white chest. Only white chest. That will be, will mean that it's a female frigate bird. In the case of the male frigate uh, bird, uh, they will be totally black and will have that. Uh, back on the neck that we 
when they will be the night mating season. Look at the birds just nesting in a tree and they're not just sitting on limbs, they've actually built a nest there of considerably sizable twigs about the size or bigger than a pencil. With white chest. But in the case of the juvenile, they are black, but white chest and white or brown head. They are the juveniles. So you can see here the juveniles red with the boobies. Look that they are starting to get uh, red feet. Look at this mangrove, the uh, uh, roots come out from the branches, go to the ground, and then they sink in the ground and form new growth, and it just spreads and spreads. Little baby frigates. They look so helpless, so ugly. Face only a mother could love. <laughs> One. What bird is this? Red big tropical. tropical. You can see the long tail. Oh yeah, you can see the long tail. You found a nice little nook. Snorkeling time now. Somehow we've got to manage to get these tight fitting wetsuits on the beach. That should be interesting.
Haven't been on a sailboat like that. <laughs> Branch. Maybe a branch for the nest. Notice the nest. It's really rough. Oh, it's got a little chick there, too. It's got a little chick. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Go say yama, Mama. Daughter, you saw in the last uh, in the other island also the forest of this tree that don't have leaves. That is called the incense tree. Hold the stick, and actually in the mainland it has different uses. In the mainland, uh, this walkway looks like a busted-up sidewalk in Medellin. But it's just natural. And every once in a while we cross a gourd. See, look, here's a. Like a flow of a side sidewalk, but we have to stick to the pass. They're clearly marking you get yelled at if you step a foot off of them. This landscape on the Galapagos is ever buried and it just freaks me out. It's a different types of stones and everything that's here. Friggin' stealing food. They're thieves, they're pirates. This has been a very full Monday. We hiked this morning. We snorkeled this morning. We snorkeled this afternoon. And we hiked again. This pier is blowing in the wind. We're heading south, back across the equator to the southern hemisphere. Goodbye, northern hemisphere. Hasta luego. Hasta pronto. The pier is blowing in the wind. Seriously. I need to break this 
Let it go. There it goes again.